Hey guys, well we have made it till Friday and we have been planning so that we can begin writing our turkey trouble stories next week. If you remember, we have written our beginning and everyone should have yesterday come up with their three ways of trying to escape. Remember your first two ways do not work, okay? But finally you come up with that third way where you are able to escape from being eaten. I modeled my first paragraph, okay, in the middle. I did not model these others though because I wanna to try to start letting you work more independently when it comes to some of the brainstorming and doing your own. But remember you had the circle map of ideas that my class created last year to give you lots of ideas. And also remember that you're not writing these in complete sentences at this point when you do the brainstorming in the middle of the flow map, it's just your ideas. And of course, next week, I will work with you more on turning those into complete sentences. So now it is time to write our ending. So depending on how you ended up finally escaping whatever plan you used that worked, then you decide what you want to put in your ending. And if you remember from our lead person story, we talked about uh, how um, they felt about meeting that lead person. So in this particular story, you might want to tell us how you felt that you had finally escaped. Um, and just end it with a good closing sentence. So for example, I might it. Notice I did my two finger spaces in again because we do indent paragraphs. I couldn't believe I was finally safe from the farmer and his wife. Okay, so there's one of my sentences. And now I'm going to totally close out the story. At least now I can relax and enjoy Thanksgiving because he knows, or actually I know, so it should, I should say she, she knows that she's not going to be Okay, two sentences. I couldn't believe I was finally safe from the farmer and his wife. At least now I can relax and enjoy Thanksgiving. And I'm just going to end it with that. Remember, it only takes two to three sentences here. You do not have to write a five sentence detailed paragraph. Okay, so make sure once you have completed your entire flow map, you turn that into your homeroom teacher because they need to look over it and see if you are actually ready to begin writing your story next week on the turkey feathers that came in your bag of materials. We're going to have fun and create an actual art project of a turkey as we write this story. So have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again on Monday when we take our planning and actually turn it into a turkey story. Bye-bye.